Africa. Where is this one man that comes to tell me that man? Where are you? Come out, come out now. Come out. Don't, don't address him as that, that again. He's not a messy man. Look, Akrika, I'm going to call you just one more time. You better come out here. Akrika, come out here now. What are we even waiting for? Let's go in there, but when you drag him out. Young lady, where is your father? My father is not at home. Eh? Where has he gone to? He left very early in the morning. Tell us he's hiding inside and not tell us why. I am not telling lies. My father is not at home. Tell him that he got himself an anti-infested wound. Therefore, lizard has visited him. I don't understand what you mean. Shut your mouth. He's still talking. Listen to him. You don't have to understand. Just tell him that Ezemine Willow has consented to the people's wish that Mwakego should hang herself. Tell him that I said that better not happen. Because if it does happen, I and him our ghosts will kill each other. Tell him that. Better tell him that. Let's go. Father, what is going on? I smell trouble. We live in trouble season, my daughter. I will drink troubled waters. They want me to fix it. And I will fix it. How? I don't understand. Have you seen her? No. I have not seen her. Then where could she have gone to? Huh? Where did she tell you she was going to? She said she was going to the stream. I've gone to meet everybody who could have followed her to the stream, but they didn't see her. I even went to the stream myself, and she isn't there. Uncle, we just cannot sit and do nothing. We have to do something. Something like what? You are just returning from the searching for her, and you want us to do something? No, no, no. What else do you want us to do? I am worried, Uncle. The berry does not keep late nights. Makigo, Uncle. let me ask you a question. Is it only oncoming dangers that you see? Why not you use the same, same gift that the gods gave to you? To locate exactly where she is and possibly tell me where we are, we are going to find her? I do not force myself to see things. They come to me naturally. And until I get a revelation about it, there's nothing I can say about it now. I buried. Hey. Yes, of our men and possibly go into war with an enemy people because of her. Is her life worth that waste? So think. Like a man who will reign in this little after. She must be made to hand God's self. And that's the only way we can save this land. Listen to me. Look at Masinati one more time and discover that mother was indeed very perfect with her choice. What you need now is a wife. Her mother, in her wisdom, already found you one. Why are you here languishing in sorrow when she's there in Isoyanato? Please. Can't I be allowed to concentrate? Something bigger than marriage is brewing in our land. That is what I'm thinking. That is what all men of our land 
are thinking right now? Something bigger than marriage. And what could that be? War. Possible war between an Enugu people and our people. But Father wants to avoid that by approving that an innocent maiden must hang herself. Ah. How can any right thinking man be thinking of marriage when such matter is in the air? So worried about you. What is there to come back to? My heartless father who would just sit and watch my only sister and friend face injustice. Or my only sister that will leave me very soon. I figured I just had to start practicing on how to live without her. Ibere, it's dangerous out there and it's late. Anything could have happened to you. I do not understand how I wish for that to happen all the while I was there. But alas, evil failed to come and take me. I will not lose hope. I will keep praying until it comes and takes me away. I cannot even think of a life without you. of this family. Show love and no one will ever separate us. Good night, Uncle. Makego, uh, uh, please excuse me. We need to talk. Yes. I did not come here to join words with you. Where is your father? Where is he hiding? He left very early. Okay. Tell him he can run for all I care. But he better come back and undo what he has done before. Tell him that. But my father hasn't done anything. You're accusing him for nothing. Listen, young woman. I did not come to banter words with you. Tell him to come back and undo the evil that he's bringing on Wakego. Because if he doesn't, I will personally kill him. Tell him I said so, and I shall be back. Tell him that! Uh. Nobody saw you. For how long will this continue, Papa? For how long? If you can solve this problem, solve it once and for all, so you will stop living in fear. 
Listen, my dear. I know why I am still avoiding him. Let us go home, eh? Let's go. My father hadn't stay at home again. He sneaks out every sunrise and sneak in late at night. But why? Because Bangwanya has threatened to kill him. Uzoma, you mean your father does all of these things just because of what Bangwanya said? He can't do a thing like that. Bangwanya will not kill anybody. Makego, based on what I have seen, he can do it. The cutlass he comes with looks so sharp and it can kill just with one strike. Please, talk to him. If my father must do anything about the situation, then he should be allowed to operate freely and be able to think right. I beg you. I don't understand why you're making a case for that crafty man. A man who exposed you to danger. For the first time, I'm going to ask you to please educate him on the great sin that he has committed that makes it compulsory for him to be punished the hard way. What he did was that he has pushed you to danger. He took advantage of your being nice and your being vulnerable. He has pushed you to the men of Lanielugo and he knows that this man can stop at nothing. He... What? Spare me all of this. It's obvious that you are very wrong. Well. Well, really? Tell me we have come back. You seem not to understand the men from Lanielugo. They will do nothing, absolutely nothing, to stop at their evil plans. Men of Anime, and your unfounded request is the least of my problem. All I am concerned about here is justice. I mean, you have unjustly banished a man from enjoying the peace in this compound, all because of the senseless fear of the intimidation of men of Anime. You cannot intimidate me with your sentiments, because I know you have a good heart. It, it has beclouded your decision. But Akrika must take care of this problem that he has caused. Even if it takes me to kill him, I'll kill him to correct you. You will kill no one. You don't seem to understand what is before you. This man will have you hang yourself. And if you know what is good for you, you better stop moving around and sit in one place. I can take care of myself. You may not know much about me. Because you may not have the training chairs in what comes next. Why do you have to say that? You are our prince. Prince Octavisia? Of Obodigiti? Yeah, apparently true. The one that would marry Umasi The beautiful maiden that is in the Your mother found for you. I'm surprised you know this much about me. But I want to tell you, I am not going to marry Masaj. Your choice, not mine. Uh, you said you came on account of Maki. I, I, I want to, I want to find out the interest. Oh yes. I am here because of work. You are a man. And I can conveniently tell you that I'm a man too. You are a masculine. You can give it to me that I'm a masculine. I want us to handle this. I'm not asking you to leave her, but what has to be just? Who do you wish to stand with? Akrika is nowhere to be found and the Congo is not even ready to talk to you about this. I don't need any of them. If it will take me to, to work alone and make this work, I will. But the only thing you should bear in mind is that I'm not going to let my woman die like that. I will not. 
I wish you was what you think she is. You woman, I should always say. Yes. You know, sometimes I would always be tempted to go to this one ego to sort her out. To ask her what she is. That she'll be doing this to my friend. She's the one I love. She's the one I want to wait. She's the one I'll do everything, even wait for a very long time to prove to her that I love her. And you, my friend, the choice is yours. It's either you stay with me and follow me on this journey and make this work. Or you can go, because I'm ready to achieve this course alone. Mm. I just realized that I, I, I will not forgive myself if nothing is done at all. Thank you. Thank you very much. You have to also thank the prince here uh, for, for his efforts. Cause it to put it. In the next three days, three heads shall fall in the We shall send a signal for them to understand that we are the same yesterday, today, and forever. If you will listen to me, I will plead for caution. I was with the king yesterday. The king has started a wider inquiry, and we must allow the king to finish what he has started. Unfortunately for you and the king, I am the one that leads the warriors. You can continue your political meetings with the king. Our warriors shall proceed to salvage the age-long pride of Anyanugu people. Nobody takes us for granted. As you cannot go to war with your identity, when the instruments of diplomacy are yet to be exhausted, we have a king in this land. Most importantly, is the ECR people of the Blue Kingdom. You must give his approval before the head boss. What are they talking? You know you could have spoken to him in a more respectful manner. And that's because? Because he is your prince. From the first day he came here, I knew what he wanted. But well, let me ask you, are you going to accept him? Who are you supposed to be talking about marriage at this crack? He me. wasn't here to discuss about marriage. And even if he was, am I not a single free girl allowed to choose a man of her choice? Okay. 
you go. We have a serious problem here. I'll need you to listen to my plans first. What is it? Ichi, we are ready with the plans. It is no longer three heads. Before the cock will crow and dawn tomorrow, we will have seven heads from Okoduit. Okute, I trust you absolutely. I know you can do it. I know you will not disappoint. That's why I called you. Ichi, are you saying seven is nothing? Because for the final passage right of our great warrior Aguba, I will bring home 10, 12 if you want. I actually called you because I wanted to order a stay of execution. A stay of execution? Ichi, in Anienugu, we don't go back once decisions have been made. I know, but I don't want it to look as if I am disobeying the king. They just confirmed to me that the king is making broader inquiries on the matter. I just want to give them benefit of doubt. Huh? Once I decide on what to do, I'll send for you. Huh? I can't believe you just said that. Why would you say that? That I should run away with you? See, I've made plans for us. Let's leave this place, okay? Let's leave a night before that day. Let's go somewhere far away from Obode Titi. And an Enugu. Let's go somewhere, so, somewhere like Agro. Okay, Titi. What makes you think I want to run away with you? Or you think you stand a better chance with me now that I'm at your mercy? No. I'm doing this because I want you alive. You're more important to me alive than. Enough. Let me say this once so you don't ever make the error of repeating this again. I, Mwakigu, will never run away from my father's life. What if it means taking your life? Well, that's the way the gods want me to die. And so be it. I would not be angry if you mistake me for a mad woman right now. Because that's exactly who I am now. I will not be surprised if this has to do with Wapi. I know you love her. And I know that she saved your life. There is something about this. Tell me about it. Listen, I do not know what you are planning with my father. Because I don't see any of you making moves. Now someone else wants to do it, but she won't listen. I will do anything to her. Anything. She doesn't listen to me because she believes I am not as smart as she is. But I still love her. Now Bawaye is willing to take her out of this place, but she still won't listen. Maybe if you talk to her as a prince, you will be able to convince her. Who is this Bawaye to her? Bawaye is. My prince, it's a little bit complicated. What is important is that he is someone who is willing to save her life. My prince, I am pleading with you so you could talk to her into accepting this offer. Please. Please, you really need to talk to her. I beg you, please. It's okay. It's okay, I'll wait. Your king couldn't have sent only you to us. It's an insult to our kingdom. I never said he did. Really? Who sent you then? Oh, I came on my own. The matter does not consign our kings. That is why I never asked to meet you in the palace. It was to me that the issue of your sick kinsman was brought. It was to me. It was you who brought in the evil maiden that took his life with an evil owl. Oh, exactly. that maiden is not evil. And that is why I am here. We find it hard to believe because the story of how she manipulated her own father to death is everywhere. That maiden is not evil. I must never be punished for what she did not do. Are you challenging us? Man of Obedity challenging us in our own land. 
Ichi Leave the challenge for the gods. <laughs> I knew you were dragging the gods. Why are we listening to this man? Eh? Why are we allowing the man of Obreti to treat us as if we are the minors? Don't you know the history? Obreti is minor to us in everything. Ichi Be calm. Be calm. So that we won't avoid making mistakes. We must involve the gods. Because it is their gift on that maiden that the whole of you are mocking. Yes. And what are you driving at? I do not want to dwell on the issue of who is your minor. But I want to sound it here and now that Obodetiti is not your slave. And you must never treat one of their very own as one. Let me tell you, everyone deserves justice. And that is what Mwagego should be given. And if we fail to comply? Oh, I hope you people will be wise enough to comply. Because I started with the gods. And I am also ending with the gods. And the whole of us are nothing without the gods. I had a meeting with them. I give them my conditions. Like we agreed. And you think they are going to comply to that? Hmm. Unless they want to dare the gods. Who does that? Ooh. Akrika, from what I know about Anyenugu people, they are ready to stand anything. Anything. <laughs> you are laughing. Uh, Okungu, that will not include bearing the gods. They know the consequences. I hope. They will honor the invitation. Mm. Mm. My people, I am very happy for the new development. Most especially, we have all gathered here in one accord. That is not to say that uh, this one is a, is a more fortunate one. But you should allow the gods to do their will. Africa. Onyeze. Let the process begin. Igwe. And truth is what we all seek. The oath of Abalanya of Obodetiti has been an age-old practice which has proven over and over again its effectiveness. That is because it is connected to the sun. This burden of Obodetiti shall before all of us take this same oath to prove her innocence. If you killed the man, do not swear. For if you do, you shall die under the sun, and you shall not be buried. Are we all in agreement? Are we all in agreement? Yes. yes. Are you ready and willing this day to take the oath? I'm willing to do anything to prove 
that I have nothing to do with whatever killed the man. We have something to say, Your Highness. that this process should proceed. Why interrupt me? Yes, we agree that this process should proceed. But you all know that an Enugu is full of wise men and we are always one step ahead. Uh, I do not see the wisdom in stopping the uh, process of taking to prove her innocence. I do not see the wisdom. We don't want her to take the oath because we don't believe in the efficacy of the oath of Abaranya of Obodeti. She claimed to be a seer. She claimed to have seen her brother's death. But there's something she must do for us to prove that she's a seer. I don't know what this is. For her to prove for us that she's a seer, we want her to tell us how many seats are inside this pop -tool. They are determined to see her dead. Who in this world will know the number of seeds in that thing? Um, uh, um, parent. Even though I don't like Wakigo for anything, but for once, I'm, I'm, I'm surprised. How did I expect her to tell us the number of seeds? Shh, shh, shh. It's okay. Father, this is not our agreement with them. It's not. Uh, uh, people of Anienugu. We should understand that we have gathered here in one accord. This is the only condition, or we go back to our old request. Do not start an evil process with my Isubu, was what the innocent lady pleaded with you. This happened today in your land. She asked you to promise her that you will not use her fruit to start an evil process. As the leader of the group, can you deny what I just said? Muria, please help us with your popkin. Please help us so that we can save our motherland. We need it to save our people. Please. No. No, 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 no. This is the only soak that I have. I want to sell it. Please now. Eh? If okay, let me ask you a question. If all our people and our kingdom perish and you have this issue, go, this is your popkin, will you be happy? Bikonu. Please. Please, Muria. If we are sure we are going to use it to save our land, then I give it to you. But please do not do an evil thing with it. No, 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 no. I promise. I promise. I promise. I promise. Thank you. 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 I am surprised that you dare the gods. I am surprised. She asked not to use her foot to start an evil process. That exactly is what you have done. Using her foot to start an evil process. Her fruit that contains 65 seeds. Go ahead. 
cut it open and confirm. Let us ascertain if I am an evil seer, a good seer, or a witch that kills people with her words. Sixty. Sixty one. Sixty two. Sixty three. <laughs> <laughs> You know what that one? Voice of silence. Shame on you. Look at them. Say about what? Voice of silence. Silence has a voice. It has a golden voice. Voice of silence. Voice of silence. Silence has a voice. It has a golden voice. Has one more message for you. The voice of silence. Silence has a voice. Listen, you brat of a bodetity. You know what is good for you. Leave us alone. Let us figure out what next to do. What you must do next is to confess the atrocity you are hiding. Are you talking to me? Remember what Wanyolu told you? The Your... truth is like smoke, it cannot be hidden. You're taking your luck too far. I speak because I am afraid of nothing but the gods that sent me. Your so-called hero whom you claim to be defending died with the truth. That truth shall spring up and set the record straight in the land. Can you tell us this truth that the Agoba was hiding? George Aya, are you joining this evil maiden of ability to make a mockery of Agoba? Continue in your quest to suppress the truth. But note, you are next. Oh, stop there before I kill you with my bare hands. What do you mean when you say I'm messed? Why hide under the guise of guarding cultural relevance to conceal multitude of sin? Watch your language, you brat. Who is hiding a multitude of sin? You are hiding a multitude of sin with Aguba. Confess now. 
you must not confess in an elaborate manner. You can do so now before these men. Say it with your mouth, else <laughs> I will not say anything. Ite, what is the matter? What is going on? I stand with the gods, and men cannot destroy me. The truth will always reveal itself. You can still save yourself by revealing it to these men now. Voice of silence. Voice of silence. Voice of silence. I understand one thing, my brother. And what is happening here? You're in love with that maiden because you see our mother and her. But you don't have to kill yourself over her. My princess. I want us to understand ourselves here and now. I want her. I don't know what you're going to do about it, but I want that maiden. You are the coming king of this kingdom. Every maiden should be excited that you're showing interest in her. But we have an interesting scenario here. The prince, your brother, is interested in a maiden who doesn't want the opulence of the throne. I, did. I want you to step into it. Step into it as in, as in going to beg an orphan to marry you. Exactly. <laughs> Come on. Don't be ridiculous. You know I can't do that. I won't. Listen, I know you can do it. Exactly what you're going to do. This maiden stole the heart of your only brother by doing what your mother did all her life. You know women understand themselves so small. Hmm? Look at me. You will do it for me. And I will be indebted to you forever. Come on. Say no. Don't say no. Please. I have never been disgraced in any way like this. That made you was more than a seer. In fact, the people of Boko Bay never stop talking about this for generations. Ikwe Madwezioku, have you seen the fruit of your agitation? We insisted that that made you must be killed. It was you who was first to remind us of the age-old tradition of a killer hanging himself for herself. And we quickly took the matter to the king. And we went up and said, you insisted on that stupid punky seat counting. All I wanted was justice for our brother Agoba. Has that become a crime on my part now? Oh, let me remind you. She said something about it too. Are you ready to speak to us now? Or you must wait when we get to an end. I wouldn't want anyone to insult me on the account of what that would say. You, you, I, 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 I see it, it and You need, you need, you need not confess, confess man. Man. You can you consume so now, now for this man. Confess, confess with your, your mouth or else. else. Even your king knows I'm a man of power. You can't really do me. Confess, confess with your, your mouth or else. else. You lie! I'm not to confess, you lie! You lie! You lie! You lie! You lie! I am very sorry for all that I have put you through. And for not believing in you. I'm so very sorry, my daughter. It, it's nothing, Uncle. I know that you meant no harm. You are only exhibiting the main strength and spirit of our men. I honestly hold nothing against you. Oh. Ah. I am very happy now. 
You are very cheerful to me. I appreciate you, my daughter. Thank you very much. Thank you. This is surely the best part of it. My father is finally apologizing to Mwakiko. I am humbled the more. Thank you, father. I thank you, my daughter. I, I have been very foolish not to have seen what the gods have deposited into this family in her. But now that we have come together as one small happy family, uh, may I quickly ask this question? Yes. Why, why is it that you have refused to assist any tangible thing to the credible suitors that have been coming for you? Why? Gods of our land just saved me from the evil scheme of the men of Anilogo. I want to take time and and find out what happened. I honestly do not want to discuss marriage now. Because Chie Malaysia. There is something you are hiding. That is what she said, and I believe her. I can't believe this. So you believed a maiden of Obodetiti more than the warrior of Anienugu? Yes. Hi. Ichocha, I, I am highly disappointed in you. You cannot be disappointed in him. The issue here is about our kingdom. What are you hiding in the Do you know what? Both of you, leave my compound. This minute, I said leave my house! No, 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 please, no, no, it was Aguba that brought the child. Yes, we slept with all the maidens and the women yes. in this kingdom, including your wives. Hey! Our crime is the reason the maidens in this kingdom don't get married anymore. Hey, hello, Melo. After we have finished defiling the maidens and the women of this kingdom, we tried to destroy the charm, but the DBS said that we must sacrifice 20 cows or our blood. <laughs> we refused, but that's why Hagoba died. Eh? Please, I don't want to die, please. Look, look at that owl. Look. talking about here is not of any other young man in the kingdom, but the prince. And I should marry him because he's the prince. Don't get me wrong with my princess. I do like your brother very much. But I don't think it will work out that way. My brother has never been happy with any other woman until he found you. And just when we all rejoiced about that, you took all that joy away. Princess, you're making allegations against me. That isn't fair at all. What do you think turning down his proposal did to him? I never turned down his proposal. I only asked for time to heal from the stress of the past days. Saying yes to him will not stop you from doing that. He has a maiden chosen for him by our mother. But right now, I don't even, I don't even know where the maiden is. Mourning her loss. What did she lose? The prince. I assume you already know. You are the one he truly loves. Please say yes to him and you'll be happy for the rest of your days. I 
wish the princess understood how I'm feeling right now. Make me understand, my dear. It is obvious you're the one who has stolen his heart. He sees our mother in you. If you marry my brother, you will not regret it. Please, I beg you, say yes to him. Wakego, idimumba. Wakego, wani marama. Babu na mubiaranso, kamwa gika obi mudi. Iga jumu, iga rapumu, iga epu opu, opu na bawa mubi. Odima, onyedima, odima. I don't, I don't get this anymore. I don't understand it. I just don't understand it. Her heart has suddenly become home for the royals. If it's not the prince, then it's the princess. Eh? Now I know that Mark Ego is me. Yes. I thought she was just playing hard to get. I never believed that she could dump before Prince Okalisia. I don't think it's Mark Ego that is me. Rather, it's the prince. Huh? Yes. No, no, look at it now. A man like him that has a beautiful maiden prepared for him. Who he left her? For who? For my wife, Kego. Can you imagine? Stop it. Stop. Stop what? Stop. You know how much I had to hear you say this? You wouldn't say it before me. My wife, Kego, this. My wife, Kego, that. My wife, Kego, that. My wife, Kego, this. And she took you out of your hunting. The business that gave the money. And put you into this rubbish. You do not have one ego. You lost all the money and she put you into this, into this nonsense. This is the height of wickedness. Babani, I'm sorry if I sounded harsh. You, you're my friend. What I wanted to say is that you deserve a whole lot of good treatment from one Okay, it's alright. Been. I've been looking for you everywhere. Let's just say I went somewhere far to mourn my loss. No worries, I'm back now. And you look even more beautiful. Turn around and see. More like a newly married woman. <laughs> or has it happened already? Hmm. I'm still waiting for that man who would be like Prince or Calicia. Until I see him, I will remain unmarried. Don't worry, my dear. The gods will give you even a better man. You see? Hey, hey, talking about Prince, I heard he has found a maiden who possesses what I do not have. I know that voice. Ah. I told you for that that is your father. Hmm. I can see that everyone in this room. Um, I'll leave you both. I have to quickly see the Be careful. No matter what, my dear. You're a very important person in this world. I will abandon where I was set out to go and give you the best treatment you deserve, like a man. Come on, let's go. So, how are you? I'm fine. You look good. I don't know how to do that. But I know that your gladness does not mean that I'm now good for you. Oh, come on, Master. Do you know you're a good woman? You know that. Yet you abandoned me for her. How do this fly? Indeed, do this fly. I will not say that I'm happy about your choice. 
but I'm glad you found what you need. Master Naji, like I said before, you're a good woman. And you have all these good qualities that will make a man want to stick with you all his life. You know him. Yet you could not stick with me. Part of the reason I came, to know what this maiden possesses that I don't. Intelligence, prestige, beauty, or charisma. You have all these qualities you just mentioned. There's one thing I desire in a woman which my mother knew about. And she had it soon. Tell me about it. A woman with vision. A woman that can see the past and the future. For me, I was hoping it's something I can easily acquire. But I cannot. Since this is very important to you, Go be with this maiden that makes you happy. Masinachi. No hard feelings. Masinachi. Like I said before, you're a good woman. And I pray the gods will send you that man that will take good care of you. But remember, you're always welcome to this palace because you're one of us. Thank you, my friend. You're welcome. I really don't understand what this means. Just say yes to him and become his wife. I bear it. Why are you acting like you are the one that is going to live with the prince if I end up marrying him? But that is the truth. Or are you planning to completely shut me out as soon as you become his wife? Well, I'm just going to beg the gods to help me ensure that you are in your husband's house, <laughs> pregnant and extremely busy at that time. See where you're even going to. But it's true. But no one will ever talk to me like all the men I like would not even as little as have a conversation with me. What would I do? Say something. Nothing. Oh. Uh. What should go? Oh, God. That is the lady you stole the prince from. If I were, I would give you a resounding slap. That is the last thing I expect you to be doing right now. Smiling. Greetings. Greetings, beautiful maiden. Why would you qualify her with that? Is she more beautiful than any of us? If she was that beautiful, the prince wouldn't have this child. Hmm. He is very happy about you. That makes me glad. Because all I wish for is his happiness. Please, take care of him. You are truly amazing. <laughs> Please, stop. Don't flatter me. You are more amazing than me. <laughs> Let's not go into all of that now. Let me ask you, are you just going to give up on the one you truly love so easily? I do not possess that, which he must have in a wife. Maidens of obedientity are not known for throwing themselves at men. Some may do that. Some are even doing it as we speak. But I, Masnachi, will never do that. Am I? Is she talking to me? Tell her what I would do to her pretty face if she dares talk to me like that again. <laughs> I'm sorry. I am glad that even if you're here has agreed that you do have a pretty face indeed. <laughs> Outside having a pretty face, you have great gifts from the gods your future husband will be proud of. I wish you well. And what are you still doing this? Go home. For your man is taking. The prince. 
prince is taking. Such a lively good lady. One would think that you as hard as your words, but you are softer than the skin on my face. Try not to throw yourself at men. That will increase your work and get you where you wish to be. Excuse me. I don't know why you want to visit. Just accept your loss and move on. Can't you keep quiet for once? I wish I could. But we need to tell him the truth. This is a prince he has as a rival. This is a prince he has as a rival. Have you ever thought about it? Do you know your problem? Do you know it? You talk too much. Oh, is that why you hate me? <laughs> well, I don't care. I have given up on you a long time ago, so you can hate me for all you want. I, I thought I could, but I found out that I, I can't because you're the only woman since I was born that I behold and want to be mine. I, I know the prince stands a better shall be. Exactly. That is the edge he has over you. He's very intelligent. Shut your mouth. Shut your mouth and let my friend make this proposal to a woman that means everything to him. Shut your mouth. I, I, I know that he has all the power and money. And he can get everything he wants. But please, do not forget my undying love for you. Please. Why me? Please. Stand up. Ask him. You cannot rival with someone like Prince. Uh, uh, please. I did everything that I did. And told the new lead because of you. I left my hunting business. Kiss me good morning. Please, what else would you have me do? Nothing. You have done everything. Markegu would never marry a man who lives a fake life. A man who lives in pretense. I don't care if you are making so much money before. The end point is that now you're living a true life to people and to yourself. And that's the picture I want in my ideal man. I don't know why you are saying that. He stands no chance. The prince is... Ebe, please, again. I love you. But your pretense and fake life kept me away from you. I'm so glad that you listened to me and that you're doing the right thing now. So, are, are you seeing you? Yes, I'm here. True love. You are my destiny. <laughs> Wakego, are you 
out of your mind? You mean you want to throw the prince away for a mad weaver? Okay, please, I say again. <laughs> Lots of things will happen. Things you never thought you could do. I have found mine. True love makes you do lots of things. I have found mine, and he's here with me. I know what it means to find true love. I understand. <laughs> I pray for the day I will find my own true love. You know what you've done to me. I have done the right thing, my prince. I have done that which destiny had planned even before we came into existence. Destiny? Destiny plans for you to shatter my heart and my dreams? You are not my destiny. Bamanya is. One day, you will be with yours. It sounds very easy to you because you don't know how long I've waited for someone like you. How am I supposed to find another you again? You should concern yourself with the most important things in marriage. When you do that, the things that are not important will follow. Just know you. You've broken my heart. I'm sorry you feel that way, my prince. I hope that someday you will thank me for letting you go. That day when you're in the arms of the one that you love, and the one that loves you like you deserve. I come before you. What's the single of our extended Umokobia family? With Mwakego and Bawaye, they have already been joined together in an elaborate celebration. As the head of the family, I present her to you as I pray that you lead all the ancestors and in the other of our family to follow her to her husband's house and prosper her. It shall be well with them. The marriage shall be fruitful and sweet. They shall bear good children, healthy ones. 
It shall be well with them. You see. News is everywhere that she has been joined to the one she chose ahead of you. I'm short of words. I thought everything was under control. She gave me no direct answer. I was hoping she would never turn me down. That's exactly what she did, my brother. She turned down an opportunity to be the queen of this land. Just to marry a nobody that weaves mats. That's the reason I love her the more. She has grown to be a great woman of virtue that knows what she wants. That's why I want her. If I say you amaze me, it amounts to an understatement. Why are you singing glorious praises on a maiden that turned you down? A maiden that placed no value on you. Listen, my dear Ojuko. Do not hold it against her. Bawanya was there before me and she kept on turning him down. He kept faith alive. I was supposed to be a distraction. She refused to be distracted. Can't you see? Can't you see we should respect and value her the more? In fact, love her the more. So, who are you going to marry now? That I don't know yet. I need to recover from this disappointment first. But mark my words, I shall find that woman. I shall find that woman who shared the same gift of her mother. And when I do, she will pull me out of this dilemma. Your mother will not be very happy with you in the land of the spirits. Father, I... I wish to make her happy, but it's difficult. It costs me my own joy. What do you want to do? Just sit around? Wait for luck to throw you another maiden that possesses the said quality? Listen, sit down, sit down, my son. Sit down. Listen, my son. Your mother made a very good choice of a maiden, a wife for you. And I approved her because I know she's good. But if you insist that, you do not want her, then make a haste and find the one that you want so that I will bless her as soon as possible. You never can tell what the girls are planning. Before me, you can't. It's an abomination. Uh, please don't stop me. I must make this confession. I know I've hurt your feelings. My friends, please, I beg of you. Please stand up. You can't kneel before me. You can't. You are the coming king. Please, you can't kneel before me. I beg of you. Please. You wanted in a woman and you went for it. I feel like a fool right now. 
for making such qualities my parrot. You are not a fool. You knew what you wanted, and you are not a fool for going for it. I would do the same. Every good. You, you have all the qualities of a potential good wife. Masinaji, please marry me. <laughs> My prince, you know I would love to marry you. I have dreamt of how I would pride myself as your wife. But unfortunately, I can't make you happy. I don't want you to be unhappy for the rest of your life. No, 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 no. Listen. It doesn't matter if you're a seer or not. I want you to marry me and I will be happy with you. Believe me, my love, I will try and be happy with you forever. You see, you see what your problem is? I love you too much, my friend. I love you too much that I don't want you to try. Okay, I will not try. I will love you and be happy with you for the rest of my life. Please, just say yes. Say yes, and both of us will be the happiest people on earth. Please. Thank you. Do you know how sad I am back home? Isn't anyone coming around for me yet? I am not that lucky. Have you heard? Brother, have you seen that the prince has come back to that pretty face? is his destiny. Oh, there she goes again. Talking about destiny. Sometimes I wonder where my own destiny is hiding. First thing I would do is to give him a sound slap on his face for keeping me waiting. That is the day he finally comes at me. May the gods bless you with love, joy, and togetherness. We say. May your house be filled with children, male and female. We say. Above all, may the gods grant you the wisdom to rule this land till the time comes. Bring your hands. Try hard. Yes. Um, the authority conferred on me as Ese Niri Ewilo of Ogurit. I hereby pronounce you husband and wife. Let's start off, start off. Thank you very much for waiting for me. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you too. <laughs> I'm so happy. It's okay. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> you see, you are the best thing that has ever happened to me. And you are the best thing that has ever happened to me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
<laughs> now I feel like the only unmarried maid in Obodui City. Oh, come on, Ebere. Your time will come. Relax. Oh, at last. <laughs> at last, my sister. <laughs> at last, my sister. We won. We won. We won. Yes, I'm so happy. <laughs> Can you tell me why she's looking at me like that? Or could it be she remembered everything I told her that day on the road? Or perhaps you shouldn't have told her those things you told her that day on the road? I know you could order for me to be tied to a stake now. Please have mercy. All he wants is for you to be a good maiden. That can make him feel like a man that he is. He has loved you from the very first day he set his eyes on you. What is she talking about? Patience, my sister. The time is now. He's almost here. To make you what you have always wanted, his wife. I've been waiting for a chance to approach you. I love the other way around. You mean you liked me all this while and you never said anything? Mary, I do not just like you. I love you. You're my heart true. You're my destiny. <laughs> You don't want to marry me anymore. Of course I'll marry you. It's just that I promise to ever will be my destiny. A slap on the day I set my eyes on him. <laughs> you don't know how long I have waited for this day. I never knew you had this desired gift of my mother. Why didn't you show me? I never knew I had the gift. I just looked at her and I had the urge to tell her. Mm, that is what Sia said. Um, but, but you didn't turn. You didn't turn to see him coming. So. How did you know he was he was approaching you? <laughs> Aha! Father. You did not think uh, that your mother made a mistake in choosing her place. Oh, father. You know your mother knew exactly that you loved that quality of life. That's why she stopped at nothing to be getting it. <laughs> oh, so, you're a seer? I guess so. This is unbelievable. So, Father, you knew about it all this while. Why were you reluctant about it? I knew that the destiny of faith must take its full course. You do not fight for it. It comes natural. 
My new one. My new <laughs> one. My new one. <laughs> <laughs> Voice of silence, voice of silence, silence has a voice, it has a golden voice, voice of silence, voice of silence, silence has a voice, it has a golden voice. Voice of silence, voice of silence.